Good evening, Juanita Phillips with ABC News. There are grim warnings tonight that New South Wales is about to experience the worst bushfire conditions in its history. The fire danger in the Illawarra, Shoalhaven and Southern Ranges tomorrow has been raised to catastrophic. In most of the rest of the state, as well as Sydney and the ACT, the danger is extreme. Temperatures are forecast to reach 43 degrees, including in Sydney's CBD, with winds of up to 80 kilometres an hour. The Premier has warned that loss of property is inevitable and says we'll be lucky to get through the day without any loss of life. Philippa MacDonald reports. New South Wales is preparing for an emergency. Tomorrow will be perhaps the worst fire danger day the state has ever faced. Today the state's emergency management group held crisis talks and declared a catastrophic fire danger in the Illawarra Shoalhaven and Southern Ranges. An extreme fire danger warning has been issued for Greater Sydney and much of the rest of the state. A severe warning is in force in the far west, south and Hunter regions. Not being uh, where the fire danger is, is your safest option. Near Gunning, north of Canberra, a firefighter has suffered burns in a grass fire. In Aura, near Wagga, residents have been sent emergency alerts. A grass fire there is burning out of control and firefighters and air cranes are trying to protect properties. Throughout the state, it's estimated 90 bushfires are burning across areas rich with fuel. You will see ember showers ahead of the main fire front that can project many tens of kilometres, 10, 20 kilometres. In the Illawarra Shoalhaven, holidaymakers, particularly campers, are being urged to pack up and leave tonight or at the very latest early tomorrow morning. National parks are being closed there and access to recreational areas will be restricted. Tomorrow, tens of thousands of firefighters are on standby and special strike teams are positioned throughout the state. From the air, 70 aircraft will provide aerial surveillance for fires. Police resources have been boosted to target known and suspected arsonists. We are looking closely at those who may have been convicted previously of arson attacks and paying particular attention to those people. Today, the message from emergency services was clear have a survival plan. Complacency costs lives. The life-threatening combination of fierce winds and soaring heat is not expected to ease until late tomorrow night or Wednesday and the respite is forecast to be short-lived. Unfortunately we are expecting a return to hot conditions again by Friday and very hot on Saturday again. The proximity of the bush is tonight proving nerve-wracking for many. When I saw the predictions of the weather tomorrow, I thought, gosh, you know, bushfires are much more intense than they used to be. Look after your elderly friends and relatives. Now is a really good time to telephone them or drop by and see how they're getting on. Work Cover 2 is reminding employers they have a duty of care and have recommended work outside with little shelter to be postponed. But for many, it will be an anxious night. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.